Welcome to the Lime Survey video series created by CCS to assist Lime Survey coordinators in navigating some of the commonly used features of the Lime Survey web application. You can test your survey prior to activation by clicking on the Test This Survey icon on the Survey toolbar. When previewing your non-activated survey, any responses you enter are not saved. When previewing your survey, the survey will open in a new window of your web browser. You will see your service URL in the web browser's address pane. You can provide colleagues with this URL to enable them to access your survey in preview mode as well. Your colleagues do not require a Lime Survey account to access your survey for testing. When you are satisfied with the appearance and behavior of your survey, the next step is to activate it. Know that once you have activated your survey, you cannot change many aspects of its metadata, nor can you add or delete groups, questions, answer options or sub-questions. However, you can change some metadata such as the service title, expiration date and template, and you can also change the text of questions and the text of answer options and sub-questions. You can activate your survey by clicking on the small green arrow Activate this survey icon. When you begin the process of activating your survey, you will receive a warning screen about changes to your survey that will no longer be possible while your survey is active. After reviewing this information, click the Activate Survey button to activate your survey. Unless you need strict control over who can access your survey, you can ignore the Switch to Closed Access Mode button that next appears and instead click the No Thanks button. If you need strict control over who can access your survey, refer to the Lime Survey documents on Tokens. After clicking the No Thanks button, your survey will be active and ready for announcement to your intended respondents. You can deactivate your survey by clicking on the Deactivate the Survey icon at any time. Deactivating a survey will enable you to make changes to questions, answer options, sub-questions, etc. But you will not have access to the data you have collected once the survey is deactivated. Before deactivating a survey that contains data you wish to keep, ensure you have exported the data to Excel, SPSS, etc. Information on how to export your survey's data to Excel and SPSS is provided in step 6 of this guide. Congratulations! You have completed the step 4 in creating a survey.